This college basketball conference tournaments and picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by Bet SGPN. Bet SGPN is where you'll find all the best sports book promos and deposit bonuses. Just head over to betsgpn.com. Bet SGPN is your home for online sports betting. We're also brought to you by BetQL. BetQL is your home for the info you need to make yourself a smarter better. College basketball, NBA, and NHL, whatever the sport, they got you covered. Plus, use the promo code SGP30 for 30% off their premium data. Just go to BetQL.com, promo code SGP30. That's BetQL.com, promo code SGP30. We're also brought to you by Better Than Vegas. Better Than Vegas is the home for avid sports bettors, providing insights, analysis, and free betting picks. Better than Vegas. It's like YouTube for sports betting. Make sure to subscribe to our page so you don't miss a pick. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. We're also brought to you by Better Edge. Better Edge is your home for no vig betting. That's right. No vig betting. That's legal in 40 states. Sign up at betteredge.com. Promo code SGP for a free $10 bet. That's B E T T O R Edge.com. Promo code S G P. Woo! Welcome, everyone, to the sports. Gambling podcast. I'm Sean. Second, the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. I, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Friday. If you're listening to this, yes. Well, some the people weekend are listening. is almost here. You think people are listening? They're live. I guess. Happy Thursday night to y'all. Yes. Hope you hopefully you have a fruitful uh, Thursday night. I want to know where you got this y'all from. You you started a few years ago. Just crowbar a couple, in. A couple of years ago. I went to college in the South, Sean. <laughs> Please. All right. So you picked it. You grew up in New Jersey. You went to college for four years in Look, Virginia Tech. Do you want me to explain it to you? Bring the guest on. He can help. He's joining us as always. Colby Dan, aka the Danta Base. He's not even a guest at this point. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. Sw- I'm sweating it out this Austin P. Eastern Kentucky uh, game. I'm gonna give everyone. A <laughs> what quick, were you saying? I'm gonna give everyone a quick lesson. So y'all, it's a little diffusing. It's a little bit of a chess playing move because people mm. think maybe you're a little stupid. Oh, you say those Southern words. You're com- you're combining Y with an apostrophe and an all. That doesn't make any sense. No, I don't know. I I really as almost as just a as a situation like could could I do this? I uh, I just started crowbarring it into my uh, my professional lexicon, and uh, it's bled into this. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you don't like y'all. I uh, I like it. It's just it's just funny. That's the only Southern word you use. What other word should I use? Fixing. No, just hey, what's up? How's it going? But that, what's up? A, what's up, a, guys? Yeah, sup, y'all. D- now if I'm combining I, the urban with the sub, the the rural. If I open your refrigerator, do you have a case of tab? Well, <laughs> yins are fixing <laughs> for an ass kick. Uh, look, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I w- this is a college basketball program. A lot of colleges exist in that part of the. the there you country. go. I got no. I got no beef with the South. You're just not from the South, so I find it interesting. I spent four years there. All right. It <laughs> okay. says, yeah, it says from New really Jersey by them? way of Blacksburg, Virginia. Does Blacksburg really count as when I think of the South? I think of like Arkansas. Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama. All right. I, I'm gonna say something. People might take the wrong way, but I, I all right. If you want to say the South, sure, Virginia is not all the way in the South, but dude, it's pretty fucking close to Tennessee. You been to Tennessee? I have. That's the South. Tennessee that's is the South. Yeah. The Virginia northern did. part of Georgia, that's the South. The northern part of North Carolina, that's the South. So yeah, look, look, I, buddy. I think Tennessee's way worse than North Carolina. As someone who partied in Blacksburg, Virginia, at the AGR, the agricultural fraternity, yeah. I feel like I did enough time to say I'm partial red. Well, Virginia was in the Confederacy, so Ryan, I'll, I'll give it to you. And I don't mean worse as in like a worse state. I'm just saying they're they're way more southern than. But North you Carolina. didn't. But again, you didn't grow up in in Virginia. From Jersey, by way of Virginia. <laughs> Now uh, you know, beautiful sunny California. All right, enough of uh, evaluating Ryan's y'all. Let's. Yeah. I'm coming at you. Don't worry. Grammar police are on patrol today. Breaking news: Hot off a triple double. That's right. All three of us got our lock right and our double lock. Coming off an amazing uh, Wednesday night of picks. I mean, it was just a slaughter out there. Uh, of course, I hit my lock. Villanova, St. Joe's, the bonus lock. Kramer had Syracuse, Abilene Christian, uh, Colby had Wichita State and Villanova. T- took you know road with my lock, of course. Uh, R.I.P. Colin Gillespie. That was a uh, brutal. Blew out his MCL. Kramer, are you worried about our uh, Villanova future? 
This, you know, the last couple sport year cycles, I feel like when we've done a joint venture, I've let you have your Philadelphia uh, homerism, and it's worked out like this: we got a Villanova future in this contest. We drafted Carson Wentz in the first round of a keeper league, a dynasty no, keeper league. No, not the first. No, he's going to be MVP on the Colts, dude. We Deshaun Watson and Carson <laughs> Wentz. We drafted with the twelfth and thirteenth pick. Uh, I, I, I think anyway. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, you know. We also got second place in the odds shark uh, Capra Cup. We did. You're welcome, Ryan. Well, it, there's no I in team, Sean. Well, you were trying to throw me under the bus. I, I was just pointing out that sometimes when I let you be a homer, it doesn't work out. Nah, sometimes it works out. Villanova's not dead. No, I don't. I mean, they actually played pretty decently in that second half without him. There was like a weird uh, 19 0 run uh, by, uh, by Crichton that like really, <laughs> Creighton. By Creighton, that Michael really, Creighton? Th- yeah, there you go. I think we're so in Sean's head about it. He's, oh, I can't. I'm so he terrified. Says it right in the every, time, every time he says it, I think of the movie Congo. I was <laughs> just about to say, uh, I was just about to say the other team. There was a 19 0 run by the other team, but then they figured it out. Like the team isn't that bad well, without maybe, Gillespie. Maybe it's like Illinois. You saw it with, with, without uh, Deshaun move. You know, they, they go into Ann Arbor, win, they yeah. win at Madison. Oh, I'm so mad at myself because I loved. Michigan coming off that huge loss. Like, you know, when a good team gets their ass kicked, you love taking them the next week. But then I was like, ah, the number was so high. It was like 11 and a half or 12 Michigan state rivalry game. Yeah. So then the, it's like, oh man, but they, I got so, good news for you. They play again Sunday. Oh well, yeah. I was going to say it's a, it's one of the, the big, the weird yeah. big 10 back to backs that just almost shouldn't exist at that level. It's like two <laughs> heavyweights going back to back. You're like, ah, I don't know if I need to see this right now, but the reason uh, Sean, before the show, I asked if you had the uh, Homer Simpson back on the board. And the reason why was I did want to remind everyone when picking Abilene Christian, I did inform you, Sean, that my true number had them as 1.9 point favorites. They won the game by two points. Wow. <laughs> Suck it. America. Can we talk? And I, I know we're talking basketball, yeah. but how about the uh, the Fighting Hawks? Oh already, yeah, I Kobe already, already hitting his lock. We were all over North Dakota, or at least at least we were. Kramer, were you on North Dakota? Yeah, remember you got upset when I made it my bonus lock because you thought I was gonna. That was like the only one. Oh, he, you're that right. Was the yes. only one he took. Of and ours. I tweeted out earlier today that the Kramer FML funk must be all over North Dakota when they fumbled into the end zone. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> well, was, it did. Was, it did. It did find its way over to St. Joe's uh, this morning. Ah. Dude, did you, you kill their 500 to one? I, I just feel bad that that, that Rudy <laughs> kid season's over. Not, not only did we did, did the, the FML tour come in hard on St. Joe's what UMass scored 59 points in the, in the first half, oh, the those, most they they've could done not in 13 miss a years. Shot. <laughs> I've never, I can't remember a, a small school team like that. Just being so insanely <laughs> hot. Did you see in the, uh, in the Texas tech game, there was a basically like an equipment manager that they <laughs> that they had it was senior night, so they let him play because oh, Texas nice. Tech was up like twenty points. I tweeted out the video. He kind of looks like me uh, back in back in college. A little bit of a gut uh, going the fade, <laughs> and he goes in. He goes. He sits in the middle of the paint, puts his hands up, takes a charge, and the crowd goes nuts. It is an amazing video, and I I shared it by with the uh, text of just Rudy Rudy. <laughs> It's a meaningless play, uh, much like Rudy. I got mad respect for that. I mean, Sean, as you know, proud taker of charges. I appreciate oh, yeah. his Kramer, efforts. That was his best <laughs> best effort in the rec league. Uh, all right, we got a caller, Sean. All right, we are know? live, and we uh, we got a caller on the locker room line. Yeah, he- heavy uh, FC, uh, you know, contributor over at the Sports Gambling Podcast dot com, Mister Terrell. What's what's good, brother? What's happening, man? Oh, yo. UMass was shooting sixty three percent from three oh. for most of that game, dude. That they was insane. Could not miss. I think there was like a shot like m- midway through the first half where the shot clock was running down, and the dude like kind of grabs it, the ball's get, like bouncing around, almost gets stolen. Then the big man grabs it and like d- tur- does like a turnaround three, and it goes in. And I'm like, okay. No. We're, we're no, not gonna no win way. this bet. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. It's no way. Like it was just honestly, I can't wait to fade UMass tomorrow. Oh though. my god! At um, the uh, St. Louis Billikens in the uh, Atlantic Ten tournament, interesting. lock that up. What do we know what the yeah. spread is yet? Yeah, it's on the spread. We're gonna cover. Oh, we're okay. gonna pick we this are. game Great. in a little well, bit. Let's talk about it right now. Okay. All right. Like it. Uh, uh, it's interesting because St. Louis, who who was my preseason pick to win the A Ten, 
they got hit with COVID really bad, but they've really been horrible on the road. And, and this is a game in Richmond, Virginia. That's far from St. Louis. So uh, me and me and NC Nick were just talking about this game. Like, I kind of think you might take UMass because wow, you're crazy. They just played like a week ago. St. Louis won in St. Louis by like 20, I think 21. Yeah. You ever seen those dolls where you have like a bigger doll and you open it up and then there's a smaller doll nesting inside. dolls, nesting called. dolls, those Russian dolls. Yeah. So yeah. what happened yeah, yeah. is UMass insanely hot. Played a team that was just tired as fuck, and Rudy, yeah. Ru- what's his name? I don't. Number one, Rudy uh, didn't have enough. He yeah. didn't have enough. His season's over. I'm sorry. Now UMass again. What did I tell you? I'm going back to my gambling instincts. <laughs> and what do you do when, as Terrell points out, a team shoots 63 percent from the three points up? You fade them and fade. fade city minus six. And shout out to the A10. For doing the bizarro maxion and just saying fuck it, we're playing early in the morning. I've been watching every game. It's great on the I'm West Coast. Just wake up, get a cup of coffee. Let's already, go. Yeah. Already sweating out some Sean, bets. Tomorrow morning, picture this. I show up to the office at seven forty-five. <laughs> Basketball starts at eight, and then top shot drop nine a.m. <laughs> Let's go, boys. It's gonna be great. I'm with you. I'm. I'm with you, Terrell. I love the handicap. I'm the same way. Yeah. That UMass team is not putting up 100 points l- l- again. L- let me make a case. And, it, and we saw what happened to St. Joe's on a back to back. I expect UMass their legs to be dead tomorrow, but no, especially but, an early game. But sometimes you get an advantage by playing the game first. Like the team that has That's to true. wait, it lo- Th- they lose true. chemistry. I, I think. Yeah. I think to a certain degree, but not back to back. You need like a day of rest. Here's what I'll say though. I will say this right. Like same same gym. They were shooting. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I think yeah. I'm about to ride the minute, man. We'll, we'll get but to that though. No, man. as I was watching that game, I was like, oh, so I guess tomorrow I'll be betting against this team. So you're, I, I, it sounds like you're on St. Louis minus six, right, Terrell? Yes, I'm absolutely on St. Louis. Uh, UMass has a terrible defense. Their defense is really not that good. I think that. Um, St. Joe's just did St. Joe's and what they normally do and just kind of fraudulent this season. But UMass is at the bottom of the A-10 in defense. And so uh, if you read my story I put out on Sports Game Podcast, they haven't beaten anybody nor- towards the top of this conference. They've only beaten up on the weaker teams in this conference. They are uh, They have not won a single game with anybody in the top four. So I'm taking St. Louis. I think that offense is good enough where they're going to keep rolling and their defense is good enough to slow down UMass where they're not shooting 63% from three. <laughs> oh uh, my God. Colby, I, I like the angle. You're just wrong. Well, uh, St. Louis has been horrible on the road, man. That's my, and I, look, okay. I, I was all over them preseason. My I, and they are a way more talented team than UMass. Listen, but th- buddy, this team lost to LaSalle. You're a real asshole. Road. You're a real yeah. asshole. <laughs> All right. Well, appreciate you uh, calling in, Terrell. Make sure you check out Terrell's uh, writings over yeah. at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. And a nice plug there, Terrell. Very professional. Appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate it. I learned right. from the best. Let it ride. Let Take it ride. Care, Love me some Terrell. Uh, Great stuff over <laughs> on the site. And, and again, a man who just knows. Sometimes you got to pay some bills. Speaking of that, head over while you're reading Terrell's article. Open up a new window, same page. Bet SGPN. That's right, the best sportsbook promos, daily fantasy, fantasy football signups. We're building a. Uh, I was gonna say a Death Star, but that's bad. This no. is like no, no, that's good. The Death Star's good. No. I, I was always rooting for the Death oh, okay. Star. Okay, you were you're you're a Vader guy. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever's good in Star Wars, Baby Yoda. It's a giant Baby Yoda of the best. You don't need to use the force to find the best sportsbook promos. We're going to bring them right to you. Head over to betsgpn.com. Featured sports book of the uh, of the week here. Pals over at Points Bet. We're going to be pulling a lot of lines from Points Bet, of course. Points Bet offering two risk free bets up to two thousand dollars. That's right. Points Bet is in your state. Just go to pointsbet.com, drop a promo code SGP. Two risk free bets up to $2,000. Oh Again, they got FCS team totals. What more do you want from a sports book? Pointsbet.com, promo code SGP. Terms and conditions apply. Void where prohibited. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler for crisis counseling and referral services. Let's get into it. God bless Fox for bringing that to college basketball. <laughs> yeah, that Seriously, was that like, really. Gus we Johnson didn't have to wait until NBA playoffs. One network. Oh, oh <laughs> no! 
Let's talk a little conference tournament. We'll close that out with a bonus Colby six pack. Given the fans what they want, we Colby. might have already snuck a beer. We did. But. We did sneak one out of the case. Uh, a little road soda, as they used to call it. <laughs> I remember when I first took my uh, wife back to visit Pennsylvania. She's like, "Does everyone have an open beer while they drive?" I'm like, oh, "You know." She's ah! like, you guys just call them road sodas. I'm like, it's you know, what when you, you live in a rural area, it's it's a simpler time. Bethlehem's rural. Yeah. Australia, they're <laughs> called roadies. Yeah, uh, roadie. All right. Speaking of SoCon Southern Conference, Colby, a little history about the SoCon school. You Wofford or Eastern Tennessee State University have been in the Southern Conference Championship game every year of the last seven years. This is a uh, this should be a pretty interesting conference tournament, high scoring affair. Every team in the conference averaging seventy points per game. Wow, there there. I mean, you really could go either way. Kramer, break down the uh, the odds here. Yeah, I cu- I couldn't actually find a nice list, so I'm gonna go backwards. The first round opened up opens up with Citadel uh, playing Western Carolina, both eighty to one. Mercer takes on Samford. Samford, of course, known for Bucky Ball. Of hmm. course, the database was gonna tell you all about that. Mercer twenty to one. Samford eighty to one. Uh, then you look up to the higher seeds. Uh, let's see here. Wow, the five, six seed is VMI at twenty five to one. East East Tennessee State eight to one. Uh, Sorry, what was VMI? Twenty five to one. Okay. East Tennessee State, uh, who feel like we've made some money on them before. Colby eight to one. The Buccaneers. The Buccaneers. Chattanooga twelve to one. Furman plus one sixty as the three seed. Wofford, waff, waff. The Terriers plus four fifty and UNC Greensboro plus two hundred. Uh, they are trash. I, I th- my take on this conference as the SoCon expert is I've lost money on them too many times this year. Who, Greensboro, Greensboro. I mean they're they're the they're the ones. I understand. <laughs> I ain't putting a goddamn the, penny. This whole conference, I think it's the highest rated mid major conference in the country, uh, as far as like what what. So are they getting more than one bid? No. I t- I don't no. think so. I don't no. think so. They're, they're, the carnage was too much, no. man. Their worst team, Samford, beat twenty four at the. What a Sanford's week, a fun play. A week ago, Belmont was twenty four and one, and that was their one I'll, loss. I'll say this: you want to you want to take a st- Sean? You can write this down. Yeah, you want to take a stab eighty to one Sanford. Put put it down right now. I'm not going there. I'm taking my stab on VMI senior uh, senior Greg Parham. He's been uh, he's been having a great senior season. Eighteen point six points per game, four assists per game, three point eight rebounds. This guy is carrying the team. Great story. Great senior. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think VMI in a in a in a conference w- where it's supposed to be a little bit more wide open than other years. That is my dog play. VMI at twenty five to one. My chalk play, uh, my lock, if you will. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Terriers. Wofford plus four fifty. Storm Murphy. He's averaging seventeen point six points per game, four point four assists. Again, shout out to MidMajorMadness.com. Tons of uh, great info on some of these. Some of these smaller schools. I mean, Furman's I think been good to us randomly in some of these picks, that, that, but that's who I'm going with, man. You're Fr- going Furman. Furman. They were, they were on the my favorite. List. They're the favorite. It's Even class. though they're not the one seed. Plus one sixty, three seed. Yeah. Uh, if you look, they should have beat Alabama at Alabama. Mm-hmm. Alabama ended up getting that win. They they Furman disappeared in the final minute, but they were up the whole game. Um, and I just think they're the best actual team at the end of the day for a dog play. Like, go with the Buccaneers of East Tennessee State. I think they're athletic. Probably the most athletic team in the conference, uh, but the downside of that is I think they struggle at the free throw line. So, give me them as my dog, though they can make some noise. What are you doing here, Craig? Well, I, I are, think, you, are you ta- are you endorsing Sanford as your lock of eighty to one? Uh, oh no, not my lock, but I'm sorry, your dog. It's eighty to one. I, I certainly think you could have some fun stacking up uh, the bracket th- that side of the bracket. Uh, you know, Wofford, Furman, and Sanford. All on one side, all those powerhouses together. Uh, but yeah, my, I was my plan was to stack the eighty to one of Sanford because they would have to go through Wofford with Wofford plus four fifty. So I will end up mm. with a team in the final four. Um, <laughs> Where's the final four of the Southern Conference? Of the SoCon. Uh, it, Maybe we have a, another SoCon expert on the line. Another caller on the oh, locker room lo- locker room line. <laughs> Jake, what's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, did you say you said Stanford? You were talking about Stanford. Oh, S- of the SoCon, baby. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. 
80 to one to win the conference tourney. 10 seed. Let's go. What do, what do you, uh, what do you got going this weekend, Jake? Oh, well, no, man, I'm excited. Um, there's a few games I have circled that I'm kind of like looking to, I'm, I'm looking to take uh USC. I, I, I don't know what that'll be, but it I does. Think it's a good it, spot for it, them to try to try yeah. to jump ahead in the conference conference standings there. The battle of LA there, man. I think they're fighting for the two seed. The winner will get the two seed to, since Colorado, okay. since Colorado beat Arizona state tonight, the loser will get the four seed. So a substantial fall for the loser. Yeah. I like the Trojans here. It'll probably be like a short favorite, like one, one and a half um, I'll like be on that for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you see, our uh, USC is pretty, uh, pretty strong. They just, right just now. they just speaking of shoving someone in a locker. They just put well, Stanford and, in a yeah. locker, <laughs> and, and and I do think I was I was on uh, UCLA incorrectly, and that's a tough game to come back from <laughs> on Wednesday because you're such a big man, Sean. <laughs> What? Oh, I just you're, you're you're calling out your loss. No, I I was saying I think that loss they gave Oregon their best game. Yeah. I mean they they're sh- they were shooting lights out. They were they were up big on the road. That was a deflating loss, I think, for this uh, UCLA team. I'm gonna Got t- into some of that Oregon. I'm Pino. actually I'm actually going to take UCLA to beat USC. I think. Oh my god! That, wow. Uh, they play they played USC at USC uh, earlier in the year, and they didn't have uh, two of their starters. So I think when they get everyone back, it's going to be a much much closer game. Uh, I'm interested to see what that line is. Though. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, and and I and I I usually find like with these um these kind of like last week games of the regular season heading into the postseason, like it's tough because you got to find the motivation. Um, cause yeah, teams cause, are usually just gearing up for the conference tournament. So well, it's tough. yeah. And, and especially too, with the COVID thing uh, that kind of adds a monkey wrench into it. Jake, Jake, where are you calling from? Uh, San Diego. Oh, okay. Nice. Do you have a, uh, do you have a San Diego based team? Uh, no, I don't. So I'm, um, I'm from the, Arizona area, so um, I root for ASU. Oh, oh that's right. You're, you I think you called in the other day. You're a Sun Devils oh, guy. Really? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> wow. All right, man. Well, yeah. uh, well, best of luck with the picks and uh, good luck with yeah, your USC it, play. Man. All right, dude. Let it ride. Have a good one, man. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. All right, moving over to the uh, Sun Belt, aka the Fun Belt. Mm. Kramer, what can we expect from this Whoa. Sun Belt tournament? Well, heading over to points bet. I'm lo- this is a lots of states in this one. We'll, we'll go backwards. Troy and Louisiana Monroe, a hundred to one. Uh, we're just going to scrap those. Don't, don't waste your money there. Georgia Southern Arkansas state 30 to one university of Arkansas, little rock 25 to one with Appalachian state 16 to one. We got UT uh, that, Arlington that's South Alabama, 14 to one. Wait your turn to speak Colby <laughs> plus six fifty for Louisiana Lafayette. Coastal Carolina, do they play on a green basketball court? They should. Plus 300. Texas State plus 250 and the favorite Georgia State. Where are we where are we going here? What what's Georgia State? 2 at? to 1. 2 to 1 at plus 200. I mean, it's crazy that cuz App State maybe 2 weeks ago was the was the one seed. Well, and and Sunbelt I I think they're you could make a case for them being the most competitive mm. conference tournament or sorry, just conference tournament. Yeah, and conference in general. They uh this little nugget courtesy of Mid Major Madness uh dead last in blowout percentage as far as game and fourth in close game percentage so should be a uh, should be an exciting tournament here's a couple of teams I'm looking at I think for my dog I'm gonna go South Alabama thanks to our good buddy Michael Flowers averaging twenty point eight points per game give me a kid like Michael Flowers that can fill it up I don't know you know something a live dog. He he could be a uh, first team mid major all American. I don't know. I I think at plus fourteen hundred in a competitive field, there's something there for my lock. I don't know Georgia State. Uh, I I think I'll go with the hot hand Texas State. Even though you could, I I guess Georgia State is the hottest hand, winning sixteen in a row. But Texas State uh, has had a good second half of the season, fifteen and three in their last eighteen. I'll go with them as the uh, as the favorite and. <clears throat> Excuse me, South well, Alabama is my dog, and this is—I I, think—you uh, know—when you look at the odds, especially at the top, this is a story of pace. And if Texas State plays their ball, they're going to win. That, that's just that. And I, I'm actually surprised they're not the favorite. Uh, I think it's close, man. I think that between them and Georgia State, I'm, I'm going to ride Georgia State just off their history. Um, they, they fun beat, coach. They when they went Georgia on that Tech, run, what, yeah. was that they went Ron on Hunter. Run, yeah, fun um, coach. 
He's at Tulane now, but this is his assistant that oh, took well, over. I, they, they, but, well, I fade him then. That, uh, that guy was all the energy. But the, they they're a good team, man. And and if I had to take a dog, I would go with uh, last year's uh, one of the better teams from last year. I was wondering where Jong was because of the Southern <laughs> Conference, but Louisiana Lafayette would be my dog. And what are they at? They're at six hundred. Yeah, Kramer. What are your uh, before we bring Jong on? It sounded like uh, I'm in, I'm in on Texas State with you. I think that's a, that's a good pick. And and then. If I'm looking for a dog, I think you know to the point I've made before in a couple of these these things. I, you know, I, I think L- Louisiana Lafayette, Coastal Carolina stand out because they're the Bizarro Pace teams. Like they they play the opposite of the pace that Texas State's going to bring, who I think is going to take it down. So, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take a stab on Louisiana Lafayette as well. I, I like that angle. Uh, so let, let's take them. They had a good regular Texas season. Texas State hasn't been to March Madness, I believe, since uh, the Big Dance since '95. This was their first Sun Belt regular season title. Please oh. refer to it as the Fun Belt. There you go. Fun caller, Jong on the locker room line. Jong, it is a uh, great day to be alive. How you doing, my buddy? Appreciate the extra podcast, boys. I love it. Thank We're you going so much. hard, man. I, I, was, I must. We must apologize. We already covered the Southern Conference. I was wondering <laughs> where you were. I know that's your conference. I don't. That, know, we can backtrack a little bit there if you want to. If you want to make a pick. Yeah. No. I definitely. Um. I think. I think the Paladins. If you Kramer, you know what the Paladins are, right? Yep. They're knights Furman. that can cast a spell. I looked it up. That, that's a man <laughs> who knows the Southern Conference right there. My yeah. pick of I, Furman. Yes, definitely. Um. Um, I definitely like uh, the South Alabama Jaguars. Uh, mm. John, you were thinking that's probably your one of your um, outrights right there. But yes, give me South Alabama on tomorrow's game. Louisiana Monroe, um, South Alabama scoring over seventy points a game, forty four percent from sh- you know shooting and thirty two board. So give me uh, South Alabama minus five, Louisiana Monroe. Just oh, saying. Oh my heck yeah! Oh my god! I like that play. Let's go, I like baby! Play a lot. I yeah. was taking notes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have some action. <laughs> that might tomorrow. be a bonus lock. On it's the Friday, six pack, right? right? Like, what better way to step Dude, into the weekend? Have you so seen much the, action? The slate tomorrow is unbelievable. I know. One it is. more local. Yeah. One more local play, guys. What do you um, got for us? I'm out here in Diamond Bar, California. Get me a Cal Baptist. They're Ooh. right here in Riverside. So give me Cal Baptist minus four. Seattle U over Seattle U. I don't know what your thoughts on that, Kobe. Particularly you. Tell me. Give me, tell me you got Cal Baptist. Uh, I've been bullish on Cal Baptist for like two years now, but I will say I caught, uh, I, I, I locked up uh, grand Canyon last week and they played Seattle and I got, I watched that whole game. was kind of impressed with Seattle's athleticism. So I, I, I like to play. I think Cal Baptist, the, the more disciplined team, but, but w- Seattle's not bad. So I guarantee the yeah. only show out there on any airway breaking down <laughs> this game. <laughs> Like their student radio radio ain't talking about <laughs> laying, laying the points with Cal Baptist. I say let's we go Cal Baptist. Go. Let's 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 ride it, man. And 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 uh, just just to top off that, you know, and 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 I'll I'll leave here with this. I'm also live betting some ITF tennis. That's Division Three <laughs> pro tennis. You know what I mean? Damn. So, Hashtag the, Mount, <laughs> the Mountain Union of the tennis world, huh? Dude, <laughs> love it, John. Stay strong, it, bro. Right. Thanks strong, for calling bro. in. Let it ride, dude. Uh, I mean, all first of all, I, I don't like how many shows could he even call into and ask that question. <laughs> I and mean, I like how he pointed yeah, out that he didn't want particularly Colby. I don't want your your opinion, Sean or Ryan. Like, which I by had the way, hot of- take. I'm all over Cal Baptist tomorrow, dude. Dude, Cal Baptist. I'm seeing two and a half points of line program, value man. right there. I'm seeing two and a half <laughs> points of line value. What's next, Sean? All right, American yeah. East. Well, you now again. This is probably not good podcasting, but American East was not on the prep sheet. And oh, really? I did this. I'm looking it up. Did the tournament already start? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it did. Colby, correct me if I'm wrong. Has the American East Conference tournament already started? Uh, I believe it's down to four teams. Okay, right? yeah, it, it's well. just uh, UNBC Vermont. So why do uh, I have it on the list then? That was a, that was going to be my next question. Who, who are the but other if we want to pick UMass Lowell and well, Vermont, I got odds. It's it's down to four teams. Vermont is minus one fifty. Baltimore, Maryland County, UMBC. Yeah, plus whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you making fun of them? I'm, I'm full. What was <laughs> their what's their team name? The, the Retrievers. Retrievers. Man. Yeah. We river remember. river retrievers, right? Not regular retriever. River retrievers. <laughs> the heart for Ford. Uh, a ten to one. It's not a regular retriever. I remember when they had their fucking run. They had, you know, you got to watch it. It's just like when we learned about Wichita State, the shocker. It's not when you two in the pink, one in the stink. It's like a, a thing of corn. 
uh, or wheat <laughs> mass is UMass Lowell at 18 to one uh, quick, quick rapid. I mean, it's Vermont, right? Isn't it always Vermont? Yeah. Vermont always makes it in. They're always kind of an interesting yeah. team. No, no, no. UMBC. <laughs> I'm riding the retrievers, man. They got a five, two starting point guard. Play the, play the Rudy Wait, music, right? They had, they had a short guy before yeah. what's up with the water. It's the, all that crap. Well, they, well, Kramer <laughs> hates short people. So he's not yeah, picking uh, them. Give me Vermont. Some of our Give employees the are like, Wait, do, Kramer, do you hate me? Because I, uh, I'm not, I'm not tall. No, I, I don't hate short people. You just think you're better than them. I mean, I don't, I just think I'm taller than them. <laughs> All right. We well, got uh, we got more conference tournaments coming up before we do want to shout out Beck QL. Oh man. It's March madness. It's truly madness. There's so many games to keep track of. I get overwhelmed. Maybe you're not the database and have a, have a uh, angle on a uh, Cal Baptist. Maybe need a little help. Maybe you're just sitting there. You got three games. You need a fourth game. What are you going to do? Go over to betql.com. They'll help you make some picks. They give you tons of information, tons of picks. Just again, there's so much data out there. Why don't you let a computer handle it? AKA the algorithm scans thousands of data points, give you the best angles and picks covering a ton of sports, NBA, NHL, and of course going hard in the paint college basketball app is free to download in the app store, Google play store, but uh, get that premium stuff. It's uh, definitely worth the subscription price. And if you use our promo code SGP 30, get 30% off your first subscription. BeckQL.com promo code SGP 30 BeckQL.com promo code SGP 30. All right, Sean colonial colonial. Let's do it uh, back over to, to the points bet odds screen. Going backward to forward, Towson, William and Mary Colby, they're both 50 to 1. UNC Wilmington, 30 to 1. Elon, 25 to 1. It is really messing with my brain that we're picking teams in football and basketball. <laughs> no, at the I, same I, time. I, I've had that a couple times <laughs> where all of a sudden I remember, oh, the Albany. Yeah, great Danes. Yeah, they got an interesting team this year. <laughs> the, the Delaware, the Blue Hens, 10 to 1 with the College of Charleston, Hofstra, and Northeastern. And Drexel, all three and a half to one. And wow, J- Drexel's only plus 350. And JMU, James Madison, the favorites, plus 250. Wow, is it could they double dip? Could you know, the problem is, and I, I don't know that they've adjusted to this, but JMU's leading scorer, tore, Matt Lewis, tore his ACL. He's out for the year. Mm. Uh, that happened about maybe 10 days ago. I feel like I'd hope well, they adjusted. It's by interesting now. too, though. They do have the home court advantage. They are playing in James Madison's home Harrisonburg home court yeah. there. Northeastern interesting play. They got a kid Tyson Walker, 18 and a half points per game. The issue with Northeastern is they haven't played in two weeks. Drexel though. It's, I'm it's definitely so hard to take these layoff teams. I'm, I'm definitely uh, having a little sprinkle on my dragons. R- really? One of the best shooting teams in the country. They've been hot and cold over the season, Ryan. They beat Hofstra and they beat JMU. These are the type of teams at a decent price that you want to ride in these conference tournaments. So give me the Dragons plus three fifty. I love how well re- well spoken you are about it. The Homer pick. It's it's well it's well yeah. done. And and I just love I love talking Hofstra. It just makes me think of Wayne Krebet. Every time, every time, right? Can to they that wheel. bring the football program back? I mean, the year they left, they were ranked. Those bastards. What, what's going on? I, you know, we should talk to them about. I that. already tweeted them in the past them week that. saying, "Bring but that I, football program back." I, I'm having trouble figuring out what the lock is. I, I'm going back and forth. Northeastern, James Madison. It's not Northeastern. You can't. You no, can't take a team. It is that's Northeastern, really? and the main reason mm. why Bill Cohen, no. the the longest tenured coach in the conference, he's been there for 16 years. He's oh, he's only got what four oh. CAA regular season titles, two conference championships in the tournament. Get in, the, in the last game, tell, they tell played the people about Tyson North Walker, Carolina. Colby. Dude, this this team can shoot. They're young, but they can shoot. They're good. Give me Northeastern. I, tr- I trust the coach. They haven't played since February seventh. And who did they play that game? North Carolina. See, that's gonna pay off. They added that game on the fly. They lost playing. by twenty. Huh? Doesn't matter. You're still playing against that. They're type man of competition. enough to take the game yeah. after after losing by eleven to Towson. I, I don't I don't see the angle. I'm sorry. Like if I'm. Again, when you look at JMU is the is the no, team They're that, not gonna do it. They're their best players no, out. Again, yeah. I you gotta cross them off. So when you again look at Northeastern or Hofstra, I think. Oh, I think it's a two two show race there. Oh. Well 
Hofstra is interesting, but I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Colby. I'm going Northeastern. And I'm going to, you know, like I said uh, earlier, Sean, you know, I like to zag sometimes. We're going to look to Charleston. They like to slow it down. Mm. I think they might have some success. And for the odds, 10 to 1, Colby, not a bad price. Now, I'm with you. I'm also going to grab one of these favorites. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be Wayne Corbett. Uh, Hofstra. Hofstra, baby. Yeah. Uh, you know, When's the last time Hofstra made a run? Uh, recently, like I think the last time we had a tournament. Okay, did they cover in that first <laughs> round? I don't think so. They didn't mm-hmm. play good enough defense. I, I remember making money on them too, but really, probably, it's just the probably way in the conference thing. tournament. But, uh, dude, guys, my dog, give me my blue hens. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the feeling about Delaware, Colby? Are you doing that like because you're you're trying to make a reference to a cock? And blue balls is that, or is that next level? Uh, you, are you a big Ryan Allen fan? They do have a bit of a three-headed monster there, and Ryan Allen, Dylan Painter, and of course Kevin Anderson. We got a Villanova transfer there, uh, but uh, look, I mean, they've been a weird team all year. Uh, last year I was bullish on Delaware. This year they've kind of been, the, the talent is there. The talent is there. They just got to get their shit together. It's late in March. They can make a name for themselves. Give me the Blue Hands as the dog. Okay. Blue hens okay. at the dog. Uh, we just uh, something's got to give, and they've won three in a row. Colby and I were on Northeast, and we're actually going to go to the Northeast Conference, aka the NEC. We we don't have odds for this one. I, I think it starts at some point in the in the near future. I'm sure, Colby. This is a also. There's only four teams, so not a lot to handicap. Will, will here. you cover this on the college experience? Oh, you're, we already have. I just dropped the episode tonight where me and NC Nick are arguing because I am all over the Bryant Bulldogs, fourteen and five. Uh, they <laughs> they got a stud in, in Kiss at the uh, at the Pete forward Kiss. spot. Yes, seventeen and, points per game. And and NC Nick's a uh, Mary Mac guy, so um, <laughs> you guys are yeah. amazing. What we do? It's what we I, do. I uh, I got really drunk at Wagner a few times over the years to the point where, uh, I, and Wagner is is a college on Staten Island, and we would take the ferry from Staten Island into the city. And this is back, you know, pre nine eleven, where I walked in with a, a college ID that didn't have my date of birth, and uh, just got insanely <laughs> hammered, and you know, basically drank till the sun came up. Came back on the ferry, and there's like people commuting to Staten Island. Yeah, and I'm just throwing up in a paper bag, <laughs> and a woman sitting next to me just said, "Get your life together," and walked away. Well, that's like that. I mean, speaking of, that's like in New York. If you you know, at least when I same pre nine eleven, you'd go into the city and the trains would stop. Like at some point the trains actually stopped and it was like somewhere around 2 AM. And if you missed the last train, which is tricky because the bar closes at four. Uh, yeah. Or later. And you, I mean, yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. So what, what you end up doing is, you know, a couple times, maybe I spent a, a couple hours at, at the train station and you know, you're coming, you're, you're, you're taking the 6 AM home and people are fucking going to work and shit. And you're like, <laughs> I feel like a real degenerate, real shameful moment. Hashtag I don't know. I don't, I don't have a ton of angles on this. Give me Bryant Colby or sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, you Kramer, should, you should you take Bryant. They've won four yeah, in a row. I was gonna say, yeah. best winning streak in the uh, conference. Uh, at the but, moment. but the problem with Bryant, they, they oh, hot, seem hot, to hot, 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 hot. a lot of that damage done at home. Colby. Bryant lost by one at Syracuse. A lot of teams struggled at Syracuse mm. this year. Bryant Done. lost by so one. Let's okay. go. Yeah. Try, trifecta. Cuse is, Cuse is amazing. And, and you know why else? It's a great because uh, Ryan uh, is required to make Bryant. So let's go. Wow. I see what I did really, there. Really stretching. Closing out the uh, the <laughs> conference stretching. tournament stretch here, the Summit League. I'll tell you one team I'm not taking: North Dakota State because Ginger Judas went there. I uh, I almost want to take. Regular North Dakota, aka good North Dakota. No, you don't. Because they they've, they've been so good in football, I want to reward them. <laughs> don't do that by well, picking Sean, them. Uh, I, you're, that is a t- that is we, I'm not. Way. I'm not. <laughs> as we look at the odds, Omaha eighty to one, Western Illinois forty to one, North the regular Dakota, regular North Dakota uh, twenty five to one, UMKC. University of Missouri, Kansas City. Yes, I correct. Thank you very the much. Ruse. Eighteen to one, Oral Roberts. Uh, I think that maybe a distant relative to the portal, John. Uh, four plus four fifty. We'll have to Sh- know when to call. Shout out to the portal, John. South Dakota, three to one Ooh-hoo. plus three hundred with Ooh-hoo. North Dakota State and South Dakota State. 
plus one twenty five. South Dakota. We we've we've seen that there's been hype around South Dakota State before, Colby. Yeah. I'm disappointed, first off. How is no listener from North Dakota? That went to the University of North Dakota or goes there currently. Now reached out to us because we've been given University of North Dakota so much love. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to college basketball, I'm going South Dakota. The Coyotes, mm. eleven and four in conference play. Uh, they got this kid Yumude. Yumude. He's uh, 21 point uh, four points per game, six point nine rebounds per game. That's enough, and I, not that I needed a, a reason to fade North Dakota State, but this South Dakota team is hot, playing well, playing well in conference. My long shot, though, uh, give me a UMKC. Um, they got I'm quality wins over North Dakota, North Dakota State, and Oral Roberts. That's the only long shot you can do. The rest, I'm telling you, it's a waste of money. Kramer, your uh, Ken Palm would like this. Kangaroos have the highest net rating in the conference, twelve point one. Okay. UMKC is my long shot. Uh, well, USD is my lock. It's either going to be what North Dakota. I mean, I, I think North Dakota, North Dakota. I'm, I'm sorry, North Dakota State, South Dakota, South Dakota State, Oral Roberts, or UMKC. I, after that, cut cut uh, everyone else off. I mean, if UMKC wins, it's because they've played an amazingly amazing defensive game. So I guess you know if you're going to play that strategy, you can almost just just take unders in their games. It certainly would have. It's my it's my zig theory, Sean, for sure. Uh, when you look at the pace that these teams play, really just North Dakota State's the only one that like prefers the slower pace. Everyone else is moving the ball up and down. But to me, I'm with I'm kind of with Colby. I think this is a I, I'm going to take chalk in this one, and I don't even know if it's worth. Wait, what do you what do you are you going? So you're South going North Dakota, Dakota State? State? Yeah. Oh, South, South Dakota, Dakota State. State. Who did South, you, did South you not have South Dakota State? No, I've made my pick yet, but South Dakota oh. State. Uh, been the the pride of this this conference the past couple of years. Mike Dom, the big man, member they they scared a few teams in the tournament. But look, he's gone, and I think this is the only chance for the Bison. So give me North Dakota State, their forward Rocky Krauser. He's got some BDE. This is their year to do it. If they don't do it this year, South Dakota State's going to reload. You're going to be you're going to be fucked for the next couple of years. So. So you think the desperation around North Dakota it? State? Yeah. So uh, and as I look at the bracket, like w- North Dakota State is going to have to run through uh, South Dakota. Yeah. Also, I mean, when you look at the pace numbers, North Dakota State, UMKC, same side of the bracket, same game. Those are the two slow pace game teams. So, in a weird way, Sean, I kind of like the idea that if you're going to play North Dakota State, which you wouldn't ever. No. But do I need to show you that? I'm just saying that like performance in Lawrence. But but some yeah, sometimes you can just what are the uh, what were the odds on Three to one and eighteen to one. You just pair them together. You take a little bit of the eighteen to one. You end up with a team in the next round who's going to play a very different style than the rest of the conference. So I I am curious to see how UMKC does though. Now, if UMKC advances, their odds immediately drop to what six, eight to one. Yeah. So to the point of what Sean was making, like just from looking at the bracket, they're probably the, cause again, they're not playing a fast paced team early on. They, they maybe can, can hang with uh, North Dakota state. I'm going to ride North Dakota state as the, as my play. The dog is UMK. I thought as a podcast, we were fading North Dakota state. Sean. We are. Well, I, I, I thought we didn't look, get the memo. I don't no, change he horses. He's wearing North fade. Dakota state colors. Carson Wentz is going to win MVP on the Colts. Dude, oh no. my God. playing a oh. dome. It's perfect for a oh. fragile boy. Well, like him. Please, please let Carson Wentz be your new John Elway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, he never played in the dome. All right, funny. And right. he looked like a horse. So let's pick some actual games where I've been crushing it. We have been crushing these uh, before we get to the games. I want to give a shout out to Better Edge. That's right. We give you the edge by giving you free picks. Also, give you a bonus edge by t- giving you a free bet over at betteredge.com. $10 free bet when you use a promo code SGP. If that wasn't enough, also zero vig. I mean, Kramer. When you when you go to Vegas and you bet 32 first half unders to kick off March Madness, you're losing some EV there. That's 32 games where you're paying 10 percent for the privilege to bet on a first half under. Yep. This year, I know you're going to be heading over to BetterEdge.com, so you don't have to pay that dirty, dirty vig. Maybe there's someone out there who wants to take 32 first half overs. We can pair you up over at BetterEdge.com. Bunch of fun contests as well, including the Beat the Database contest. 
which Colby took down yesterday. And yes, he mentioned that before the show. <laughs> BetterEdge.com, B E T T O R Edge.com, promo code S G P. $640 it's going to save me on that, uh, on that w- collection of wagers. Not a, not a bad day's work, Kramer. I mean, that's a nice day's work. It is. All right. A 10. Ooh, early West Coast kick, Love 8 a.m. Duquesne at the, well, not really at, it's in Richmond. Going up against the Bonnies, St. Bonaventure, a seven point favorite. Uh, feels a bit high, but I'll let Colby weigh in first. Colby, let's talk about it. That was an impressive win. It, I mean, I can't believe they, they came. beat yeah. the Spiders on their own court. They beat the Spiders in a game where Richmond was beating their ass. Yeah. They settled down. And I'll say this. Unlike uh, St. Jo- the St. Joe's UMass game, where I watched one team just get insanely hot and one team just looked like they ran out of gas, Duquesne is filled with grown ass men. They, they've been talented the past four or five years. They're really the, the problem has been, I guess, the execution. The pro yeah. the problem is if they play like they did at times against Richmond, St. Bonaventure is going to wipe the floor with them. Well, the last time they played, St. Bonaventure only won by four. So I think your angle is to take. I think there's an advantage to playing a game early. Um, so I'm going to say take Duquesne, but I think St. Bonaventure is going to get the win. Love, love uh, Kyle, I, Kyle Lofton. I think yeah. there's a huge, specifically, there's a huge advantage for Duquesne playing this game spot. Like I know, you, like I know you liked them having played yesterday, but I the fact that they played in the eight, the 11 a.m. spot yesterday, mm-hmm. and now St. Bonaventure is going to come in a little colder. That's an early tip. That's a not a normal body clock tip for these guys. I'm kind mm. of inclined to do, like I said, I watched a team that didn't necessarily win because they were hot. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll, go, I'll go with you guys on Duquesne. I, I do like Kramer's angle there of the early game favoring, you know, like the, the fact that Duquesne got used to playing that early St. body maybe starts off a little cold. I don't know. The Bonnie bunnies hasn't been amazing to me or just us in general. I'll, I'll go Duquesne plus seven. I don't know. I, part of me does worry that they had that comeback win. I normally like to fade a team like that, that was totally out of it and then came back kind of an emotional high. Oh, I think St. Bonaventure is going to get the win. I just think seven is a little large. Yeah. And that's what I, that's why I was kind of hesitant. The number this is Mar. Who's the guy? Who's the John announcer Rothstein. that always, say, yeah, this yeah. is March, Sean. This is March. We already broke down us and St. Louis with our buddy Terrell, but to clarify, I I'm, I'm all in St. Louis minus six. That feels really good tomorrow. Colby. Make your case for UMass plus six. I just think playing that game and and St. L- and I, I if anybody I've been the big fan of St. Louis all year, but I, the they've been lines, horrible man. outside of St. Louis. And yeah, it's it scares a fair point. me. It scares me that they're playing all the way in Richmond, where this team's already played and they shot the lights out. So what's to say they can't do that again? You now, watch the game though, right? Like you watch St. Yeah. Joe's. It just it, it looked. You know what it looked like, Colby? When when you played rec league basketball, Sean and I have played rec league basketball. You know how some nights the, the team, the, maybe you're missing a couple guys, maybe people have to play a couple more minutes, and everyone's just fucking tired. Yeah, no, I got. As you. soon as UMass lit the lit the the gym on fire, that game was over. They were tired. Yeah. They wanted to go home. So I, I, you know, good luck to you. I think it's a real hot take, uh, but you know. I mean, look, they beat Rhode Island this year. Rhode Island's not bad. You know, they beat Northeast. You don't have to sell it. You're, you're the expert. We're the dummies. Maybe you're right though. I'm <laughs> looking, they did get blown out a few times, but no, give me, I'm going to stick with the minute men. All right. Triple header or the Dayton third. laying five points against VCU again. Uh, second half here of the Atlantic 10 conference Torney Dayton again, Kramer, like you uh, said, solid win for them. Although I don't know, there were moments there. They were a little down. Now they're playing that game back to back. What do you? What's your thoughts, Colby? Where are you at with VCU? Oh, wait, Dayton's the favorite team here. Did Did you write it in wrong? Did I? Did I? I mean, I'll, I'll verify this while you're talking. Yeah, because the 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 higher seed is VCU, so I might have I might have messed that up. Um, I think I think the play here. Well, look, this is on VCU's home court. Yeah, this VCU should be favored because Dayton played already yesterday. So they're Dayton's coming off a back to back. I'm not seeing it. And there's a seven seed. I I uh I, th- I maybe I read it uh, incorrectly, but uh I think uh VCU is the play. I mean, th- this was a very close game that the last time I saw saw these guys play. So, and that was at Dayton, I believe. So, 
I do expect a ball game here. Um, but give me wait if it's VCU minus five. I VCU say you, minus five. I say you take Dayton. I think it'll be close. See, actually, the minus four, minus four Whew. points bet coming in at minus four. All right, that's spot on too. I feel like that's what I would. Uh, I say uh, give me Dayton and the points. Really? Taking three dogs, man. Jalen Crutcher. Yeah, he's clutch on the man. court. He is DJ he is. madness a year ago when yeah. we chose to not cancel college basketball. Uh, you know, date. You know, to your point of the liking the team that's been playing, uh, and I know VCU is VCU, all that good stuff. They're at home. Dayton look. Uh, Dayton looks like a team that can win some games. They're a weird team, man. They beat the best two teams in the tournament or in the A10, uh, besides or the top two seeds, and then they lose to the two worst. So it's really what. what I'm going. I'm going getting? VCU minus four. I, I think the fact that it is game that starts a little later. They are at home at Dayton. That. I mean that game. I felt like took a lot out of him just watching it. The eye test, and you needed Crutcher to do a ton. I think that's a lot to ask for him on a on a back to back short turnaround. I'll say this: it could get out of control because Dayton could get turned over, and VCU knows how to drain the free throws. But definitely uh, a good formula if you're laying I, the points. I am curious though. Uh, Dayton's got some size though. I, I I think there could be problems here. Now Sean Highland that that is injured. He's the top scorer for VCU. Uh, he hurt his foot in what I think maybe about a week ago, and it was a, I think a severely high ankle sprain. Ooh. So I don't I don't Ooh. believe he's playing. Ooh. So Kramer, final final answer: Are you on VCU or Dayton? Oh, I'm on Dayton. I I I, I like Dayton today. I like Dayton tomorrow. It's as simple as that. You one, know what else is simple? One foot, two foot, three foot. You want some more Colby Dan Dan to base picks? You just can't get enough. Got to subscribe to our Better Than Vegas profile. Oh man, every day giving out free video picks over on sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. They'll take you right to our profile page. Subscribe. Uh, check out all the crew of us that are giving out picks. Bunch of fun f- other uh fun people on the Better Than Vegas Network giving out their free plays. Ken, it's free picks, free analysis, free entertainment, XFL Jim. <laughs> They're calling him the uh the star of Better Than yeah. Vegas. Goes all out. Uh a samurai was involved in one of his videos. Want to ch- subscribe to his page while you're over on Better Than Vegas? Again, come for the picks, stay for the entertainment. So much going on on Better Than Vegas. The true hero. Better than dot Vegas, and uh, make sure you subscribe to our page, SGPN. Let's go, baby. Davidson laying four and a half against George Mason again, closing out the A10 matchups. For the day, Colby, what's the lean here? Well, these teams did not play in the regular season; they're supposed to, but COVID canceled that game. So, I, I, I think here you just got to ride with Davidson. I know Mason's been hotter towards the second part of the season, uh, but Davidson's got the coaching pedigree. Uh, there's a reason why they've done what they've done over the past decade. Uh, give me David. I also think Davidson's just they got better bigs. Uh, Big size advantage. Yeah. So give me Davidson minus the four and a half. I think they make, and another thing is they make the free throw. So late in the game, if they get fouled. Very good yeah. offense, according to Ken Palm, that 26 in the country and adjusted offense. So team that can put up some points. I'm with you. Give give me Davidson laying the four and a half. Kramer, uh, Kramer you on board? Uh, th- this really only goes bad if if somehow this they're they're not winning this game with size. Yeah. Then then it gets dicey. Uh, George, you know. George Mason, maybe, maybe they get it done, but Davidson should, should, I mean, honestly, the spread should be more. I mean, I don't want to tell everyone my true number because I, I get made be, fun of, but 5.8 <laughs> is where I have, it. I was thinking like six or seven, yeah. 6.9, maybe nice round it up, moving over to uh conference USA old dominion heads to Bowling green, Kentucky to square off against Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky Hilltoppers lane seven. Is that like, number two big, Colby? What a game to crowbar in there. Well, the reason why I put this here is uh, Western Kentucky in first place in the Conference USA East, ODU a game back. So this is a huge game in the Conference USA. Uh, Western Kentucky is a really good team. They got a, a lottery pick on their team in Bassey, and they beat Alabama at Alabama. Just yeah, to I was going to say this is sh- a good o- team. ODU, coached by Jeff Jones, used to coach Virginia back in the day. When they had Junior Burrow and whatnot, but uh, I, I'm gonna go Western Kentucky to get it done. I think they know how important this game is. They've been great at home this year, so g- give me the uh, Hilltoppers. I'm with you. First of a back-to-back, right? Yeah. 
Uh, it feels a hair high, but they are, I think what six and oh in their last six at home and old dominion, not an amazing home team or a road team. They're decent, but uh, yeah, Western Kentucky six and three against the spread in their last nine, eight and one straight up last nine overall and five and oh correction in uh, their last five games at home. So, and one thing to note I, again, I, I generally, I like to target teams that uh, to fade teams that can't defend the three point line. That's a, that's an upset formula, right? But old dominion, one of the worst teams in the country, shooting the three ball. Three hundred and thirty second out of three hundred and whatever it is, sixty three teams. They got the greenies. They might have a couple <laughs> greenies uh, rolling out an ODU. Shout out to DJ Madness and the Sims. But yeah, and again, Western Kentucky. You like teams that nail the free throw when you're laying this many points. Twelfth according to Ken Palm and free throws. So, Colorado State, the Rams head to Reno, Nevada to square off against the Wolfpack. CSU Rams, one point road favorites. Colby, you, you rocking the Rams? I know you're a Buffs guy. Uh, man, this is a tough game. The reason why I put this on the sheet, man, is uh, Colorado State last eight in. Um, they had they were hit with COVID. Didn't play a lot of games in February. Just came back over the weekend. Took down Air Force twice. Quickly added a New Mexico game where they got the win. They added this one recently, and this is a scary game. Because Colby likes them because they're adding games. You got to care- be careful of this handicap. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna ride Nevada. I'm gonna oh, ride Nevada because okay. <laughs> Surefield. I mean, I think it. You, they got crazy adding these games, and and Nevada is gonna is. The I best. thought you were gonna favor. You were gonna be like, look at this is what this is what team. They're not running from it. They're running towards <laughs> battle. No, but I, they are doing that, and I commend them. But at the same time, like Nevada's been a hornet's nest in Reno the second half of the season. Surefield's a great point guard. We we covered that one UNLV game, yeah. guys. Uh. So I, I think Colorado State's also been a little bit inconsistent this year. It's dangerous because if they lose this, it it might have them on the outside. But it, it does also help their strength of schedule. So it's I don't know. But well, like, you, like you said, they they uh, Colorado State's been trying to add games. Uh, they just played yesterday in Colorado against New Mexico. Now they got to head to Nevada. Certainly they they already played at elevation, but Nevada also at home in elevation. Um, I, I just think Nevada is a solid home team. I mean, they're they're just pretty solid at should, home. It should be a great game. Just gonna point nine something and two out. straight up at home. Just gonna point something out, and this is why you need to take Nevada. Uh, Colorado State has a dude who's six ten. He plays. He gets a good run. Uh, they have a guy who's six nine that gets a little run. Uh, Nevada has a guy, uh, three guys that are six ten or seven foot tall. Height and and I think long. After Gosh. those t- those six nine six ten guys on Colorado State, God forbid they get into foul trouble. The next tallest guy is six six. So I think, and this is a team that plays a five foot ten guy in the rotation. So I do think size is going to matter, and Nevada should be able to take care of business fairly easily. Got another caller no, on the no no caller. We okay. got. They're they're throwing bags of shit, flaming on our front <laughs> front step, and they're running away. Ding dong ditch, <laughs> no <laughs> worries. Little bitches. Time for the lock dog tease. <laughs> Remember, uh, make sure to check out Points Bet. Use the promo code SGP. Two risk free bets up to two thousand dollars. And if you're new to Points Bet, sign it up. Use that promo code. Send in the screenshot of uh, you rocking Points Bet. We'll hook you up with the T-shirt. Kramer, kick things off. Keep it red hot. What are you doing? Lock dog and bonus lock. We won't pick a COVID game because of the shortened slate here. I, I mean, you know, as much as I, I, I really do like this Dayton team, but I, I, I'm going to take two K. I'm going to lock up the early mm. one uh, to Colby's point. I think St. Bonaventure probably gets it done, but this is going to be one of those games where, you know, the, Duquesne will have a lead in the second half. I'll make that prediction for my dog. Nevada shouldn't be the dog in this game. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, small dog. I got two dogs. I also, I mean, I like, I like Dayton as well, but I'm, I think Nevada is the play here. Like, like Colby said, Hornets, Hornets nest. And for my, uh, my second lock, uh, you know what? Let's make it Davidson. I think there's going to be a serious size difference here. And they close the door on the cover with the free throws at the end of the game. Uh, mm. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Little little Atlantic ten with a, a little nightcap out here in the Mountain West. My like lock, it. give me St. Louis minus six. Love that angle. Love that handicap. And fuck you, UMass. For my dog, <coughs> Duquesne money line. Let's go, baby. Uh, I think this. I think the Bonnies are vulnerable. And for my <laughs> bonus lock, 
Shout out to my boy John Cal Baptist getting four points. It is a uh, five star pick according to BetQL. I like rocking their five star plays. Let's go, Colby. Oh, we're gonna lock up, man. Let's just take you to the Hilltoppers minus seven at home against ODU. That's the lock. The dog, man. Let's ride with the hot hand in UMass. Mm. No, uh, no. The the I'll go uh, home and get your fucking shine box. The bonus lock is going to be let's go Indiana State minus four and a half in the Missouri Valley against the Evansville Purple Aces. Wow, Larry Bird, <laughs> baby, minus, let's go. Minus how many? Uh, four and a half. Yeah. See, I, I stayed on book again because I've been doing well with the. I know Sean didn't point it out, but I'm last uh, three bonus lock lock. I'm five out of six, so. Hey, no, no let's do it. Keep the hot hand no going. Oh, hot, 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 wow, hot, finished up hot, a hot, five hot, podcast hot. week because this is March. Make sure you subscribe to the College Experience where you can catch Kobe Dan, Patty C, NC Nick, a bunch of uh, other cast of characters talking college basketball, FCS football. Kobe, what can people look forward to? March Madness, man. We're going to break down every game. Going to have you covered every FCS game too for college football season. And we do talk FBS even in the off season. Gus Malzahn now at UCF guys, Oh, hello. Josh Heupel to Tennessee. We better uh, get changing that logo. Now that uh, Gus Malzahn's at UCF <laughs> Colby is off that train. Gotta be very interesting. stuff. So I'm an East Carolina fan, man. When they play, UC, when they play ECU, you know, fuck UCF, you know, I so feel you bro, I feel you. Uh, we got you covered at the college experience for anything college football and basketball related. Well, and uh, of course, toss us a bone, subscribe to the podcast. If you already haven't and uh, check out bet sgpn.com, throw us a five-star review for your chance to, or, you know, throw us a review. We'll assume it's five star. If you, you've listened to the entire podcast, you're probably a five-star guy or gal. Uh, well, hopefully toss, hopefully. toss in a review. We give out uh we give out merch every Monday, hashtag merch Monday for people who are kind enough to leave reviews. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stuck in the money green and he is Ryan. Oh, we're getting our first pack tomorrow. Sean Kramer, let it ride.